What's up everyone? This is Sean Ramprasad here with TMG The Mortgage Group. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how to repair your Equifax credit report. Okay, this is a question that a lot of our customers have had and I'm going to answer it for you today. Uh, so first and foremost, why repair your Equifax credit report? I think you already know the answer to that, but you want to repair your Equifax credit report in order to get good credit, period. If there are errors on your report, you you can fix this in just a few steps. Further to this, if you do have bad reporting, this may be fixed easily as well. Okay, so I'm gonna put a link to um, the Equifax dispute uh, email address below so that you can dispute anything that's on your Equifax credit report. I can also assist you with this. Give me a call anytime if I'm doing your mortgage only. Uh, things you can do to keep a strong Equifax credit report, okay? Number one is you pay off your collections, okay? That's the first thing that you should do to get a strong Equifax report. If you have collections, make sure uh, you pay them off or, and you avoid getting collections at all costs. This drives your score down hella fast. So get rid of those, uh, those collections. As soon as you pay everything off, your credit score is gonna start to increase. Number two, Pay all balances within 30 days. So on your credit bureau, this shows as R1. The more ones you have on your credit report, the better uh, for you, okay? Equifax will look at this and they're gonna reward you uh, with a strong credit report. Uh, make sure you dispute any issues that are on your credit uh, bureau or you dispute any extra pulls on your credit bureau. So the more pulls you have on a credit bureau, the lower your score will get. So credit, um, if you're shopping for like a car or something, car dealerships are like really well known for pulling your credit like 20 times. You don't wanna let them do this. I don't know why they do it in the first place, but they pull your credit tons of times. Uh, so basically you can dispute that and you can have some of those credit pulls removed if the car dealership did not have consent to pull your credit that many times. They require consent every single time uh, they pull your credit. So just uh, be aware of that and dispute things if, uh, if they're not true on your credit bureau. Lawsuits. If you have a lawsuit, dispute this with evidence that the lawsuit has been paid or settled. So some people have lawsuits from old rentals that they've rented, uh, that type of thing, and where they've, they've taken them, the people have taken them to court for non-payment or for moving out or whatever, whatever that might be. Uh, you can dispute those if you won the lawsuit because uh, it sits on your credit bureau. Pay all credit cards and lines of credit on time. Obviously, that's a, that's a given. You want to pay it on time. Your student loans on time. Uh, don't forget when payments start. So this happens to people all the time. They get these student loans and then uh, there's no payments on the student loans for the in their entire course. It could be six years, it could be seven years. And then uh, usually a year after they're done their course, there's still no payments that are required on it. Then all of a sudden payments are required. So you have to make sure you're always paying attention to when your payments are, uh, are happening or starting on your student loan. Pay all Revenue Canada balances. They're allowed uh, to report to your credit bureau and they're also allow allowed to garnish your wages. So make sure you pay all your Revenue Canada uh, bills because that will bring your credit score down. It goes on as a collection. So just be aware of that. And collections just beat your credit score down so hard. Put as many of your payments on auto withdrawal from your credit card or from your bank account. Just make sure you have money in your bank account and have availability on your credit card. You'll get the points, which is huge. That's what I do. I have a, an Avion uh, card, a Visa card. Uh, so basically I get points every single time I pay a bill. It's fantastic, it works out great. And then my bills are always paid on time. So I don't get the collections uh, because of that. Another way is to refinance vehicles to pay off high interest debt. So we can assist you with this. We don't actually do it ourselves, but I can refer you to somebody that will help you uh, refinance your vehicle and then you can pay off your credit card or line of credit, whatever, whatever you need to pay off. Avoid consumer proposals. So when people are starting to have credit issues, a lot of people that are thinking about bankruptcy will go into something called a consumer proposal. 
you should avoid this at all costs. This is something that makes money for the companies that do the consumer proposals, but it does you harm. It goes on your credit bureau almost exactly like a bankruptcy. So avoid consumer proposals at all costs. You're better to get a consolidation loan. So when you're using these words, be really careful. You want a consolidation loan or a line of credit instead of going through a consumer proposal, okay? Make sure that if you move, you let all your creditors know. That's a, another way people kind of lose track of, of the payments that they're making. Make sure uh, they let their creditors know. And uh, that's about it. The other thing you want to avoid is letting your credit cards go over limits. So uh, let's say your credit card has a $5,000 um, availability and you go to buy a TV for $5,050 or you go buy the TV at $5,000 and you let interest accrue for a month so the balance becomes $5,050. That also beats the heck out of your credit bureau. Uh, guys, if you like the video, please like and subscribe to the channel it helps me create more great content for you if you have any mortgage related questions please give me a call anytime my number is 780-27847 it's Sean Rampersad here the absolute easiest way to get approved for a mortgage thanks